Hi guys. Earlier this evening, a viewer commented on one of our videos excoriating me for daring to suggest that people use these Isotunes Bluetooth earbuds. He called me irresponsible and throughout our conversation got even worse because he said it's dangerous to listen to music while you operate machinery. You can all judge for yourselves if I'm a terrible person. My gam gam always said I was a good boy. But I didn't take his comment lightly, so I rushed out to the shop and I made this video as an answer to him and anyone else who wonders if it's safe to listen to music in the workshop. But be warned, we're going to deal in real data, not just opinion. I have long listened to music and audiobooks in the shop. I like 90s alternative and historical nonfiction. I also listen to the occasional podcast. Between you and I, I think it's good no matter which Matt is on. And I still have all 10 fingers, 11 toes, and 3 nipples. But one person's experience is hardly proof positive. So I did some digging for some more official studies. And as it turns out, there are a lot of them that show music is widely listened in all sorts of working environments. One study in the UK showed that 73% of warehouse workers found they were more productive when listening to music. A US study found that IT specialists who listen to music completed tasks more quickly and came up with better ideas than those who don't. Another study showed 9 out of 10 people performed their work faster and more accurately when listening to music, including tasks that required concentration like data entry and proofreading. These are just a few of the many, many studies out there on the subject. But data entry, proofreading, IT, these aren't exactly serious jobs with serious consequences like working on a table saw. And it's true. I didn't find any hard data on how many injuries in small woodworking shops are due to listening to music. In my defense, I didn't look very hard, so it may be out there. But I did find lots of studies involving something pretty serious. Surgery. It turns out that more than 70% of surgeons, the guys with your life in their hands who can literally kill you with the slip of a finger, more than 70% of them listen to music while they operate. And not just soothing classical music. A poll of doctors showed their preferences run the full gambit from classic rock to country, even that obnoxious stuff millennials listen to. So why isn't music a dangerous distraction? Because it doesn't require your attention. If you've ever been listening to an audiobook while you work and missed an entire chapter because you weren't paying enough attention, you know that the brain has the ability to prioritize what it focuses on. That doesn't mean it can't be distracted. A person talking to you while you work, a child playing nearby, maybe even a pet, the missus yip-yapping about who knows what. These things demand your attention and they can easily distract you. But music is different as countless studies have shown, unless you feel the need to dance along. That has no place in the workshop at all. I didn't intend for this to become an Isotunes commercial, but the guy brought up that particular subject and those particular earbuds, and they are the ones I wear. So I decided to put the logo at the beginning of this video because they have been supporters of us for a long time. And I'm proud of that because I really feel like they have helped me to protect my ears. And let me explain why. I used to listen to the radio, or then when I got a computer in the workshop, I would listen to podcasts and audiobooks on the computer through their speakers. And when I had to make a quick cut or two, I wouldn't put on the hearing protection because it was just a quick cut, right? But with these things, they are always on and I'm always protected. I don't even have to think about it. It just makes sense to me. So I reached out to them a long time ago and they've been an enthusiastic supporter of us and the rest of the woodworking community. So please thank them. I'll put a link in the notes below this video. Click on it and they'll know you support us as well. For more great tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker, check out Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. You can read and subscribe for free at stumpynubs.com.